Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Well, it is exciting to hear the statements coming from former president of the Republic of Zambia, Mr. Edgar Chagwalungu, over the resignation of Honorable Stanley Kakuo. Perhaps it is important at this stage to remind former president Edgar Chagwalungu that whereas Honorable Stanley Kakuo has resigned as Foreign Affairs Minister for the Republic of Zambia on account of alleged business impropriety relating to a private and personal business transaction that he may have been involved in, the former Foreign Affairs Minister for the Republic of Zambia, Mr. Harry Kalawa, resigned from his position, pointing a very big accusatory finger at President Edgar Chagwalungu, then President of the Republic of Zambia, over corruption. Thank you. To the former President of the Republic of Zambia, Mr. Edgar Chagwalungu, who has issued a scathing but rather unfortunate and regrettable statement this morning responding to and reacting to the resignation of Honorable Stanley Kakuwa arising from issues relating to his transactions, business transactions and begin to put all the blame on the President of the Republic of Zambia in the following terms that the President merely thanked Honorable Kakuo instead of inviting law enforcing agencies to take action. First of all, President, former President Edgar Chagwalungu would do better to be honest to himself and know that successive presidents, whenever they have fired a minister or whenever a minister or any other senior government official has been fired or resigned, it is a standard and traditional and customary practice for the president to thank such a citizen for their service to country. That is the standard practice. So there is nothing anomalous by President HH thanking the service of Honorable Kakubo to his country because these are the precedents that have been set by all successive presidents. So, for President Longo, therefore, to find that as an issue that President HH has merely thanked uh, Honorable Kakubo, we find that to be politically immature. We expect him, as former president, to do politics that is of a higher level, but maybe we are asking for too much because he can only give what he's capable of giving and nothing more or less. President, former President Edgar Chagwalungu has also alleged that uh, last year in April, when there were social media allegations of Honorable Kakuo, uh, relating to some transactions of receiving certain gifts from the Chinese 
that President HH declared him innocent and not the ACC. Again, we find this highly misplaced because it is neither the duty of a president nor the anti-corruption commission to declare any citizen or indeed any suspect to be innocent. That is the province and jurisdiction of the courts of law. Anti-corruption commission is an investigative and arresting agency who whose job is to find a suspect and present before the courts of law who will adjudicate as to their innocence and or culpability of omission or commission of an offense and not a head of state so whoever wrote this speech again for president edgar former president edgar chagwalumu shows that there are a group that do not understand governance and how and what the duties of the president are anyway it is understandable former president edgar chagalungu has also alleged that president hh holds all former you know leaders from the previous administration as guilty until proven innocent again this is baseless because we are a government of laws and not a government of men the law in terms of our bill of rights in the constitution presume all alleged citizens innocent until proven All right, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.